When you compare, how do the different social media platforms fulfill different purposes? Every platform has a different community that is following it. Our job is to find out of the people who are on each of these communities or in each of these communities, what can we do for them? How many of these people on the different platforms are actually interested in what we have to offer and how many of them are who we actually want to get engaged? For social media, it's important to understand there are different communities on every different uh, channel. Depending on which market you're in, that also brings in a new element to the game. And, and we have chosen to be on the largest channels because that's where we believe the majority of our target audience members are. And from there, we funnel down to find the right target audience members. If we are doing a lot of business in Brazil, it's not just about Facebook, it's also about Orchid. If we're doing business in China, we need to focus on WeChat and uh, Weibo as well. How do we approach those channels and how do we present ourselves there? We have a great staff uh, and resources behind those channels in China, because of course I don't speak Chinese, but, but making sure that they're representing the company and sending the same messages as I am on the, the Facebook channels and, um, and, and Twitter is very important. I think the, the magic comes when you mix the, the platforms together. It's very similar to our strategy of mixing in social media into our overall digital channel strategy. Understanding the impact, the time needed to create an Instagram photo, and uh, the, the effect on your business uh, objective is very important. I usually say, and I, I've used this analogy a couple of different times, but it's like understanding exactly what kind of cookies your, your uh, target audience wants and how they like to have them. Um, knowing that kind of deep level understanding for, for your target audience is important. Understanding where they are in their life, where they are in their company. Is our company new? Is our company a traditional company? We want them to be a customer no matter what. And whether it's with mass drilling and, and us looking for them to join the team as a new employee, or it's with Mask Line and we want them as a small or a large company to actually reach out to us and become partners with us, we need to know about them. And the fact of the matter is that we're still learning every single day. We know how they want, we want them to convert, but we actually don't know what it takes to actually get them there. And that is a process that not only changes for them every single day, but it takes a lot of effort and time and focus for us to focus in on what is it that we need to do to, again, focus on the user journey. Is there any kind of social media you have chosen not to be present on? There are some social medias which are similar to uh, social media channels that are similar to what we're already on. Vine is a great example of something which I'm sure we would uh, find value in, but with the functionalities on Instagram, being able to do videos, Vine kind of falls out of the picture if we have to prioritize the channels that we're on. We want to be on the group level, at least on all of the channels where, where there is the, the mass of people. We need to be seen as the top of the funnel for the other business units. We're not here to funnel in hundreds of thousands of people into the business units if they're not the right people. So we want to be present on the channels and in the particular areas of the channels where uh, these target audience members who are going to affect our bottom line objective are.